before we go any further, you know what I'm saying? Yes, it has taken me a little while, you know what I'm saying? But we're finally here. I can prepare myself. Y'all have been labeling this as one of the greatest cyphers of all time in Korean hip-hop. Y'all have been hyping this shit up so much. You guys have been recommending this show so much. You guys have been DMing me about this. You have been emailing me about this. This, this shit, you know what I'm saying? Just, just everywhere. Everywhere I go, I can't escape it, you know what I'm saying? Not that I was trying to, but we finally here, you know what I'm saying? There were just other things that we had to take care of first. But here I am, prepared. I think I'm prepared, but I, I'm never prepared. And this is called Bad News Cypher Volume 1, alright? So maybe there's a, there's gonna be a Volume 2, it's called VV2 um, Remix. I'm not sure what the VV1 was or the Not Remix one was, but it has my man's um Take 1 in it. It has my man Don Malik, he's back, you know what I'm saying? Because I believe he was going through all these controversies and shit, but I think he's back. And obviously my man's just this, and Lil Boy. I'm not sure if I know him, you know what I'm saying? Sounds familiar, but I don't think I've ever reacted to him. But anyway, man, without any further ado, y'all ready? <laughs> Let's go! It's gonna be 11 minutes of complete fucking fire. <sighs> Alright, let's go. This is what y'all wanted, right? I'm here. Ha. Translated by the Bahamas, hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Oh, 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 okay, not to you know what I'm saying? Shouts out to the people who added subtitles, you know what I'm saying? Because I was actually waiting for the subtitles, you know what I'm saying? But we finally here, anyway. Daphne D, shouts out. Shouts out to me. <laughs> Okay, but I got a big, I got, I got a big thing, you know what I'm saying? He said, I can show you, but it's all rated. So I don't think I gotta, you know what I'm saying, decipher or talk about it anymore. We'll leave it at that. I love his very simplified flow. It's so like, it's so sticky almost, you know what I'm saying? Because I can, I can even tell where the rhymes are right now, you know what I'm saying? The way he's rhyming, simple, you know what I'm saying? Mid-syllable rhymes or like towards the end and shit like that. And the beat, you know what I'm saying? It's like that very old school hip hop feel right now. So anyway, let's keep going. Isn't that what I just said? That old school vibe? What did I just say? You know what I'm saying? Oh, anyway, let's go. Okay. Okay. Whoa, 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 go back. I think I'm missing something here. Disclaimer. I feel like I'll be pausing a lot, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's go. Huh. Fill up the Ray. Ray is one of the Korean big... You know, shots out, to, shots out, you know what I'm saying, to the Bahamas and um the guy from Hip Hop or whatever adding the subtitles because y'all even added the explanation so I can understand properly. So thank y'all for that. Anyway, alright. Alright, alright, go back, go back. From now on, as long as I see something wrong, I'm gonna just pause it so I can read it at that moment, you know what I'm saying? Anyway. Huh. I survived now, is what he's saying. It's an homage line from Take One, Lights Out, Green Ideology, which is his album. Here's a question, who's so Oh, so in his album, Take One saying, so who survived now? And kind of like little, um, little boy, I think he's kind of like taking... I mean, it says it's an homage line, but it's kind of like replying, he's saying, I survived now, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like making that correlation. Oh, I see, I see it. You never know what a classic is. Alright boy, 
Alright, little boy. Alright, little boy. You're not, you're not that little no more. I thought, I thought it was gonna be like a warm up. You're gonna come in there, kind of like with the, you know what I'm saying, warm me up a little bit, and then it's gonna get a little more intense. But you came with the heat straight from the jump. You know what I'm saying? Wow, he's saying, why even put meanings into an album anymore? Wow. <sighs> Go back. And he's talking about how we should like take one, we should just talk in English or something, you know what I'm saying? Because if we pop off in the West, everyone's going to start riding our dicks, you know what I'm saying? So I think like the, these are the bunch of like underappreciated, you know what I'm saying? But probably one of the most skilled rappers in Korea talking about what they're going through, you know what I'm saying? Like I put so much meaning into all my albums, you know what I'm saying? My rhyme skills, everything is impeccable, but y'all ain't even listening because he's just talking about how like y'all got like dicks in your ears or something, you know what I'm saying? So it's like you're like... You know what I'm saying? Your ears are full of shit pretty much. Like you're listening to garbage, so. Whoa! 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 Go back! Go back! Go back! I feel like this shit's gonna kill me. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but y'all better start bracing yourself right now. You know what I'm saying? We only, we're not even two minutes in. I love how his flow seems so simple, but he changes it up so much. There's so many variations of his flow, like little boy, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out to little boy. But I think take one came next, so y'all ready? Let's go. Huh? And I've come to think of retiring to justice. Mmm, alright, alright, because, okay, one second, I think I missed something right before. Oh, what a beautiful shit, and huh. that's... I dropped an album. Yeah, it, sound, it sounded a bit similar, but I wasn't quite sure. Okay, okay, so, I love how they are having so many correlations, you know what I'm saying, to each other, to the albums in the past and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So he started off how Justice started off in the Mike Swagger, and he said, I'm thinking of retiring too, because you know what I'm saying, the whole retirement saga happened of Justice, and like, I want to be, I want to be gone right now, you know what I'm saying, all that shit, so anyways, let's go. Now I to to but I so that's I said, I'm going to pause it if I see something long, I have to stop being Kim Tae of Green Eyed Dog, you take one thing. Oh, so he changed his name. He's not Take One no more. He's like the actual government name because he wants to be himself type of shit. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. Alright. Y'all even know what bars are anymore. Y'all even know what quality production is. Y'all even know what a classic is anymore. You know what I'm saying? And I love the similarities in their struggles. He's saying, what is wrong with your ears? You know what I'm saying? Y'all saying this. He said something about like how he put out his album. Some are saying the sound is, you know, like good. But the music is whack or some shit like that. And he's saying your ears and earphones worth $5. You're listening to a masterpiece. Through an instrument that's just five dollars, and your ears are just stuffed with dicks. You know what I'm saying? Like a little boy said. <laughs> Go back. Alright, we 
just warming up. We just warming up. Take one. You 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 spitting too much fast. We, you can't do that. You can't do that anymore, man. You speaking the truth. We, you can't do that no more. Damn, damn. He's saying he mixed, mastered, engineered all that shit in his house. He's saying, why put thought, why put all this effort into lyrics and good music and this valuable time and money to make music? You know what I'm saying anymore? <sighs> Man, like that's the thing is. For hip hop purists, you know what I'm saying? Like people like Justice and Take One, like people who kind of like grew, you know what I'm saying? Who grew up with that old hip hop shit, you know what I'm saying? And as a purist, they are in the hip hop scene. I could, I could feel their struggle and their pain of where hip hop has come to, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, there are a ton of debates and you know what I'm saying? Like, of not just hating on the new school generation, it's just constantly evolving and we gotta find a balance, you know what I'm saying? I am on board with all those arguments and thoughts and whatnot, but. At the same time, I feel their pain the most, you know what I'm saying? To see where hip-hop has come to what they are used to before, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway. Anyway. Ah, wow. oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I now I can understand that bitch who left me. Now I can understand him saying Korean hip hop. Is that a diss to keep ape? Is that a subliminal? I Now I can understand even Deep Flow was underground up in this mystery rapper over here. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Kind of coming of age as well, you know what I'm saying? First he couldn't see now, but now that he is in the place D Flow was at, he's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? It's all perspective, like he's understanding it better. But at the same time, D Flow is a mainstream rapper now, you know what I'm saying? But he was an underground rapper before type of shit. But also like, like what can you really do, right? Like if you're an underground rapper, you have all the skills and you know what I'm saying? As an underground rapper, you're dissing all these mainstream cats, in, you know what I'm saying? Who are shit, but you're underground. But you finally get recognized, and now you're mainstream. It's not your fault, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I feel like Deeflo still has a very underground feel to his raps. Like, I don't think he's compromised as a mainstream rapper. Like, he's just famous now, but he's still kind of like, you know, sticks to his underground roots type of shit. But, anyway. So much to talk about. This is a paragraph. This is an essay. Let me read this real quick. Oh yeah, yeah, I think I've 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 heard about this before. Verbal gin and their like little beef, huh? Mmm, same, pretty much same thing with D Flow. Verbal gin, he's kind of saying, "All right, I just all y'all, but now I can kind of see." You know what I'm saying? But anyway, okay. Ah. <laughs> Spread the word about me like occasion, okay? Anyway, spread the word. Oh, it's a, it's a song by occasion. And he gave a shout out to Take One. And then Keith Dave got famous. And then what? I knew it. When he said Korean rap sucks or something, I knew he was referring to Keith Dave. But anyway, Keith Dave interviewed in Complex and he says Korean rap, it sucks, blah, blah, blah. After that, Take One dissed him with the song called um, Come Back Home. And then Occasion was threatening him that he's going to remove that part where he was shouting out Take one from Spread the Word And the beef is still ongoing apparently Okay, I didn't know that ah. 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 
take on for the team 녹색 인형 사랑과 평화 끝한 for the team 내 상업 예술 또한 명작이 예정돼 있지 나 역시 닿을 수 없는 곳을 어느 Commercial artist Take One's next album apparently is Cop That Show The Man Support I've been where you can reach before you knew it It's another reference line from Verbal Jin The reason why the word tight exists Okay? Okay? Yeah, I'm going to hear this 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 Take One So where you stand, huh? So where you stand Wow, I can't believe this is just four minutes. There was so much substance in there, you know what I'm saying? So much, oh man. Woo! Take one. So where you stand, huh? 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 All right, all right. So where you stand, huh? Sprinkling all kinds of hip hop elements in it. I'm not gonna lie, I miss Don Malik a lot. He was one of those cats that gave me a very good impression, you know what I'm saying? A very big impression when I first got into Korean hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm back on my bullshit. Don Malik has been accused. I know about this, I know about this. No nega shimbulum sent out a bull deck, I didn't enjoy them, you will tell me gun in a hand and not eat them moving me. You're just hating for the hate, quit to give me hand in the day, song soon on a day, so we might do tune B. Oh, scratching until Dr. Lamni getting on my was a big game, it don't nega you want it, chung chi. Wow, wow, bars, bars. Those chipped teeth of lying square fuckers, I collected them, put it under his pillow, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like that idiom or that phrase goes, you're lying through your you're, you're lying through your teeth type of shit, you know what I'm saying? He's saying, like Eminem says in his new album, you know what I'm saying? You lied so much through your teeth that you broke a tooth kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? He's saying, you're lying too much, you know what I'm saying? And he's collecting all the chipped teeth underneath his pillow type of shit. Anyway. Huh. Huh. No man of rappers, could have some of rappers, and then I'm Thanos. You can stop my song and sound a juggle to jungle. So, so, I'm gonna get the girl to more. Fuck. He's snapping. He's snapping. The soft of the guy. She got no meda. Um, go hard. A guy. The nipple. The mood. Um, you mean so? I'm young and got tears. So, I'm not young. I'm 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 Fuck with the professor ho. Oh, that's his real name. So good on the guy, don't you some key go my goal as a better suit in the in a good jack as she does on a debut. Good on the guy, take it in my two tests. So, my man, it's even kidding. We are gone in and she's jagged one man. Hey, Jim, you He's saying, he's saying failure is a, uh, what did he say, what did he, go back, that, oh my god. Shortcut to failure is being real and I've died twice already. Psycho, I feel like everyone has that hook almost. Everyone finishes with like their own chorus almost because they have like this, this 
I guess, you know what I'm saying? Like a full set of bars that they keep repeating, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's a pretty dope concept. Uh. 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 Hey, uh. <sighs> Man, I don't know if I... I actually don't know if I can go through this no more. <sighs> He's the final boss. You know like when you play games, you know what I'm saying? It's that final boss. Just this is that final boss coming last in that cypher, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm actually scared for my life right now. Because the level of rap and substance that they've shown so far... Just this isn't gonna pale in comparison. If anything, just this is gonna fucking, you know what I'm saying? He's just gonna kill. It's gonna be an all kill, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm scared. I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared. But let's go. <laughs> Wait, is that his bank account? Is it actually? Send me money if you don't want it. <laughs> Everyone send just this fucking money right now. If you said send money, you better send it. Like, what are you gonna say? No? What's wrong with you? Mm, no influence, just popularity. Wow, okay. Go back, go back. I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna decipher all this, man. Huh. 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 Your life is a burnt out cigar and he said he has like some firewood chopped up and shit. So you're like a flame that comes and goes. Like when you burn paper, you know how quickly it's set, it's set ablaze? And then it's over, you know what I'm saying? That's how most rap careers are these days, you know what I'm saying? Quick rise, and then you're done, you know what I'm saying? People know the song, but they don't know the artist, you know what I'm saying? But he's saying, I I have the formula, you know what I'm saying? He has chopped wood for longevity in the hip-hop game. He has that strong foundation, the roots, you know what I'm saying? To stay and be a veteran in this game, so... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bar fest. This is a bar fest. I don't know how else to say it. He's like, to me, rapping is breathing. He does it. It's second nature to him. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't need to think about it. Like, breathing, he just does it subconsciously. And then... <laughs> he said, when I first started rap, I wanted skill. But now I have skill. I don't know what's the use of it no more. To all you fake motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? To all you fake rap stars, rappers, all you pretenders, all your fucking pretentious bullshit, you know what I'm saying? He sees through it all, you know what I'm saying? He's like a whole population of them. Okay. <laughs> This is why I was scared. This is why I was scared. Oh my god. Oh my god.
If you don't like me, shoot your shot. But just know that's gonna be the last time you ever fucking shoot nothing, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna be the last time you ever rap. That's, that's the last time you open your mouth, you know what I'm saying? That's some real shit. That that that's some real shit. Go back. Go back. So you know how so there is the theme that I'm seeing. There's like these three themes that I'm seeing. One, they don't like the Korean hip hop scene right now. They wanna quit, they wanna escape. You know, like most of their verses are talking about that, you know what I'm saying? Second, they're addressing people's ears these days. They have, they have no ear for value, they have no ear for lyrics, they have no ear for what real hip hop is, you know what I'm saying? Third, I see um, like the third like concept that I see a lot is the whole junk food shit. You know what I'm saying? Little boy was talking about fat belly, McDonald's, junk food. Like they're eating shit that's not healthy. Like consuming fake or consuming shit music, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? And he's saying you don't even you won't even know if you taste um if you don't feel the taste even with a Michelin guy. So you know what I'm saying? The whole Michelin stars. You know what I'm saying? The food being up. But he's saying you only give it a five star rating. Because of its name, because of its brand, you know what I'm saying? You just pretty much, you're following a brand, like, you know what I'm saying? With just like everything else, just because someone's big, he has a he has a machine behind him, he has good marketing, he has good PR, whatever. That's the only reason why you're giving him a good guy. Not because the food's good, but just because, you know what I'm saying? You're told to believe that's good, you know what I'm saying? So, wow. Ah. 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 ちょっと、ケースはゴシプンでグロジモタンチャシニゲグロ。ちょっと、ケースはゴウェンジェイですよ。カゴギョジャメドロデシュライフ。ビッチ。アオレディノウィクンデノイサランヘソチゴミンデ
saying bitch makes him misogynistic and he's talking about scientific, there is scientific biological differences between genders and he's talking about estrogen and testosterone and all that shit. We're not gonna go too deep into it, you know what I'm saying? Cause um, you know what I'm saying? Cause uh, <laughs> we don't wanna be controversial, you know what I'm saying? We don't, of course, in a sense, I don't wanna shy away from controversial topics, you know what I'm saying? But um, the thing is, even before, um, you know how Essence made that song feminist or feminism or whatever? I had like a 30, 20 minute video on it, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't necessarily, it wasn't necessarily polarizing in a sense, it wasn't controversial even. I was just pretty much deciphering what he was trying to say and kind of like giving all this historical facts and all whatnot. But I got a ton of DMs, you know what I'm saying? Because I kind of put a poll on my Instagram saying, should I put out this reaction? Because I wasn't quite sure. Because I know the political climate is like in the West and I'm kind of familiar how it's very similar in Korea as well. But I'm not, you know what I'm saying? It's not quite the same. So I wasn't quite sure. So I put this poll out. And most of the people, uh, but I, it wasn't most of the people, but I think majority was saying not to put it out. And I got a ton of DMs, even from rappers. A lot of rappers were saying, I don't think it's going to be good for, you know what I'm saying, your channel. And it's just not worth it, you know what I'm saying? Because people won't understand, even though you put out all this, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to explain it, but people just see what they want to see, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think we want to, you know what I'm saying, go too deep into all this. But he's, he spat so many bars already that I don't even think I need to explain this. But anyway, enough talking. Recognize what is this? What is this? It's a bar fest, first of all. Shows a real hip hop is, you know what I'm saying? Shows the spirit of a real lyricist, you know what I'm saying? Shows clinic on flow, delivery, refined skill, you know what I'm saying? He's also going on to this whole political arena and kind of, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like peppering his thoughts on it too. He was talking about equality of outcome. And I don't know if, you know what I'm saying, of course, like, one of the person that is really kind of famous right now is Jordan Peterson. He talks a lot about Scandinavia and, you know what I'm saying, the equality, how equality of outcome isn't the answer. Because, you know what I'm saying, the more um, equal you're trying to become on the outcome, the disparaging gaps are even wider between men and women and all that. So he's saying it's the equality of opportunity that we should be looking for. You know what I'm saying? So he's talking about so much shit right now that I don't even know if I should be talking about all this, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, Sully. Oh, Sully. Is she the same person who was in Dean's video? Or the, the, her vocals? Everything will return to haters and it will hurt you more. She's a K-pop artist. Okay, okay. Okay. I feel like I need at least two months of resting after this reaction, you know what I'm saying? Wow, this this is crazy. It's a double entendre again. Okay, in Korea, in Korean, the word gang is homonym to lose. And Justice's first name is... Okay, so Justice's first name means when. So I don't lose means when he defeats all rappers. Also, means that there is a word lose in his... Pretty much he's saying... What I'm getting from it, it's a double entendre, like, kind of like a homonym type of, you know, wordplay, but he's saying my name has the word win in it already, you know what I'm saying? So I never lose type of shit. Wow, that's some OG shit. That's some OG shit. So he does the award show and got three awards from that same award show. Wow. Ah. Ah. Ah.
Everyone's like, alright, are we done? Are we done? I'll up the job, wasn't it? I saw him, but I didn't mention it. 